The featured presentation is brought to you by Landman Productions. Landman Productions provides videography, photo montages, editing, instructional videos, and entertainment for all occasions. Hillsboro, Ohio is located 45 miles from Cincinnati, Ohio, in a great little city full of interesting people. Some of those people consist of the Fling family, owners of the Fling barn at the Fling farm. So why would I spend so much energy doing a story on this family? Because they are a very inspiring family and wonderful people, trying to do something great in their community. This isn't just a story about a barn on a farm. It's a story about a place that within time will be legendary. The Fling family has owned the Fling barn for over a hundred years. But what makes this extraordinary 200 acre farm such a hot spot? Some say it's the breathtaking property. Some say it's the animals. But most would agree that it's a century old restored barn which is used for many things such as weddings, special events, and live concerts. Dr. Bill Fling, a veterinarian and friend of mine, loves American Roots music so much that he promotes concerts on a regular basis. So sit back and take a journey with me as we reveal the story of the Fling Barn. Don't forget, coming up Friday night, it's David Rhodes Brown at the Fling Barn south of Hillsboro. I'll be down there. The whole gang will be down there. You don't want to miss out. That's State Route 247 south of Hillsboro, West Berrysville Road. Bill Fling has a, a pretty impeccable taste in music. He only gets the best stuff there. Uh, I'm not a go out on a Saturday night kind of guy uh, because I just don't want to hear average mediocre music in a, a bar with 50 televisions blaring at me. So you got the Fling Barn with a tremendous atmosphere of the antiques, the, uh, the uh, antiquated barn, the entire atmosphere, and the best music that you can find. Just in case you goodbye, stumble. So, Mr. Fling, it's been a pleasure coming out to your, your barn and seeing the farm, and it's beautiful. Well, I am tickled to death that you like it because you have been a blessing to me with all your programs. Your TV show is excellent. Thank you. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Why should somebody come out to the Fling Barn? Um, great food, great music. We have the best bands in Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia. And camping, you know, come out and camp for free. And it's a beautiful valley. I know I'm prejudiced. My family has lived here for over 100 years, but we get that regularly. People comment on the valley, the horses, our crazy dogs. And it's, just, it's a fun place, it's a safe place, and people just, uh, just have a good time. Famer, huh? Is there a little Arab? <laughs> this is a hand, the hamster. Oh, Leroy, he uh, he likes to ham it up. Always out for a party. He's been real disappointed since the season ended. Mm. <laughs> It 
seems okay today The monsters stay away This isn't just Deb and I or the Fling family pulling this together at this point. We, we started with, with some things that were here and some resources and we've it seems like it's attracting uh, music aficionados and, and music lovers, people that love creativity and, and unique things uh, like yourself. Uh, you, you saw the website, you came down here and, 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 and liked it. Uh, Tom Collins uh, is a world-class photographer. Mark, Mark Mitchell, uh, Dick Lukens is a good friend of mine. He, he, he and I went to the first grade together and we go way back and he was turning me on to music that I'd never heard of way back when. Bill and I go way back. Uh, we started in the first grade together in elementary school in Hillsboro. And he likes to tell people one thing he remembered about me was the first person to ever give him a potato chip. But for God's sakes, Bill was from Folsom, not, you know, the Brazilian forest. So I thought he might have seen a potato chip before, but no. And, and ever since that, I think he's been wanting more potato chips. As the flame attracts the moth Medications just so trail Warm it on the forest, hard to swallow Last night and look in tomorrow With your jacket and your sorrow I met Bill Fling through my good friend Verge Otto, who I uh, had known uh, Bill and Debbie for well over a year before I got to meet him. And uh, uh, Bill's reputation had preceded him. Uh, Verge thought the world of him and told me what a great guy he was. And uh, uh, Verge uh, suggested my services to Bill uh, as a photographer. Uh, on a uh, event that he was having uh, to inaugurate his uh, newly renovated barn. And uh, I was anxious to meet him and uh, came out and uh, Bill and Debbie were just as warm as could be, genuine human beings and they were terrific. And uh, I got a, a, the opportunity to shoot his open house and to get to know uh, how wonderful this facility really is and what he had done to it with all the Americana items and the old farm tools and he restored it with real character and real care and real love and you can tell it, it's obvious just walking through both the upstairs and the downstairs of the, of the barn. And I fell in love with the area. It's just an amazing, as a photographer, an amazing place to take pictures uh, on a clear blue day, it's just breathtaking. The uh, vistas that you have, the scenes over the hills, the sunsets, and then of course this beautiful barn. I think it's been a hit, you know. When he got the idea of, of really bringing people in here and, and uh, the wedding receptions and the music, and all the good times you can have, and you can have a good time here. This is, this is a neat place. People should meet his mother, Jewel. She is a jewel. Uh, I enjoy talking to her when we come over here, and uh, Sister Marcia, and all the people here. The Fling family are fun family. They're good people. I know all of them, known them all my life. And they're very good people, and they've got a wonderful idea here they want to share. And anybody who enjoys music and a nice time, this is where they should think about coming. Thank you. I made a trip over to Dr. Fling's pet hospital, which is just located a few miles away from his farm. He was in the middle of doing a dental prothe in the mix of removing an abscessed tooth. After that, of course, he showed me around a little bit. This is our sterile surgery preparatory, and we have complete monitoring. We can monitor blood pressures. We can monitor uh, 
uh, EKG digital pulse oximetry so we know exactly what the oxygen level is in the bloodstream mm -hmm. gas anesthesia uh, oxygen and plus a full array of instrumentation etc suction packs sterilized ready for surgery so we can do most most procedures here Uh, brown grass and wildflower show turned out to be pretty successful uh, here at the Fling Barn and uh, well over 150 people, which is probably the biggest crowd we've had. And uh, really good show and really excellent turnout and, and a really nice audience. And at the radio station, uh, WVNU, where I am employed, uh, we gave away a lot of tickets, several, and uh, we got a thank you from a lady that says, uh, thank you so much for the brown grass and wildflowers troop tickets. We really enjoyed the event and music. Uh, we took another couple with us, and they, and, two, uh, and they too enjoyed it. We look forward to going back to the Fling Barn. Thank you very much. Have a happy holiday, and uh, let everyone know that uh, we think everyone does a great job at WVNU. That's beside the point. But the point being, they had a great time, and they're going to come back. And I see nothing but growth for this uh, place, and uh, hopefully doing some uh, nationally known acts here. and. Uh, really put this, this place on the map. I think a lot of people are going to know about the Fling Barn uh, before it's all over and done with. Check out 97.5 FM. Mark, you're awesome, man. Thanks a lot. Bye play, now. Play some killer music <laughs> on his radio station. Check them out. So folks, do yourself a favor and go check out the Fling Barn on the Fling Farm. You won't be disappointed. And be sure to check out their website www.flingbarn.com Be sure to tune in to episode 10 on next week's show, which features comedian and musician extraordinaire Mr. Gary Burbank. Gary is another friend of mine that not only inspires me, but thousands of people that he comes in contact with. He is truly a broadcast legend. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so mad? I'm gonna drop my pants, take a butter knife, spread alpha all over my butt cheeks, super glue my tongue to a fire hydrant, and wait for a pack of wild pit bulls to come along and lick it off. I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. How come it is? People always say, God bless you when you sneeze, and nobody says nothing when you fart. Same to me. And when somebody blows a back end out of their britches, that's when you ought to be calling on help from the Almighty. <laughs>